and 2019 releases be forgot because it's 2020 and we got new releases. Yeah, it's Metal Monthly with Blaine Smith. That's me. And this show is Bangers Monthly. Look at what's coming out in metal. It's 2020, new year. I hope your holidays were good. I know mine were, despite the fact that I'm filming this December 19th. Whoa, <laughs> fourth wall break, crazy, whoa, behind the scenes. Uh, as always, if you like the content, you can support us on Patreon. We got a lot of stuff coming this year already down the pipe. We got projects uh, coming up for you. We got a bunch of cool stuff that you're gonna love. Uh, so, you know, consider giving us support. And if you like me and you like the releases I talk about, uh, maybe, you know, come hang out with me on twitch.tv slash metal comedy. Play video games, I listen to metal, we chat, maybe make fun of Star Wars. You know, it's fun. So, just to run down a list of some big things coming out that you might want to keep an eye for. Uh, Apocalyptica, the whole like classical Metallica fusion thing. Uh, they're coming out with Cell-O, Cell-O, I don't know, there's cello, so maybe it's cello, but it's cell dash zero, cell I don't know, man. Even when it's easy to read, it's hard to read. That's out on Silver Lining Music's January 10th. Uh, January 17th, British Lion is releasing The Burning on EMI. January 24th, uh, Annihilator is releasing Ballistic Sadistic on Neverland Music Inc. Uh, Kirk Weinstein is releasing Dream in Motion on E1 Music. And Lordy is releasing Kill Action on AFM. So yeah, those are some bigger records coming out, but let's get to the juicy meat, the stuff I'm really excited about, the stuff I've been listening to for the past month. This is what's coming out that you guys should absolutely buy. So first up, hey, always exciting, the Cleveland Kid Athenar is back with some black and roll for us. It's Midnight, Rebirth by Blasphemy on Metal Blade Records. It'll be coming out January 24th, but let's have a little listen now. Cover still rocking the psychedelic lesbian vibes from Sweet Death and Ecstasy, which you know I'm on board with because I'm 90% certain that someone's called me a psychedelic lesbian in the comments at some point. But that's the main similarity between the last two albums. The psychedelia in the music is gone in favor of, well, just kind of some more rocking. There's a little bit of Judas Priest going on in one song. I hear a little bit of Van Halen in another, but all covered with a layer of to quote the man himself, devil's excrement that makes it unmistakably midnight. So, hey, if you're on the team, more of what you love. Uh, and hey, if you're not on the team yet, check out uh, wherever it'll appear, the interview with Athenar that we did a little while ago. Get to know him a little better and get to know why we all love this dude and his music so much. Hey, now let's shift into some death metal because that's what we do around here. There's only four types of metal with 98 subgenres per type. Uh, we've got Invictus releasing the Catacombs of Fear on FDA Records January 24th, 2020. Hey, it's 2020, it's the future. And hey, this album is the future as well. <laughs> So the bio from their band camp is so good, I'm just gonna use it directly. Uh, furious, flesh-ripping death metal from the land of the rotting sun, Japan. Who? that sounds great. And hey, it looks great too. Uh, art by veteran Juano Castellano Rosada. I've praised him on here before and I'm praising him again. That looks like the left-hand path is on fire. Good stuff, man. Uh, and in the album, oh boy, it's exciting. Yes, I'm bringing you a Japanese metal band that you don't need to be able to navigate a site in Japan 
to purchase and order a CD from across the world. You can just get it on Bandcamp, and boy, is it great. This is some death metal that just makes me want to pace and get violent. It's just, it's, I, I feel like last year I didn't get a record like this, and I'm really excited to start off the year with a record like this because it really scratches an itch. Uh, I'm gonna make the stereotypical reviewer statement. We all do this. We all say something like this with one record. This is the record that's getting it. Boy, this is an early contender for album of the year. If this is the way things start out, you know it's gonna be a good year in metal. We all have to say it at some point, so I'm saying it about this record. But onwards to, hey, another banger bud releasing a record this month. Uh, Chaodeon is releasing self-titled Chaodeon. Uh, it's an independent release, so that means really, you know, go support independent bands, man. Uh, January 17th, you can buy it. Uh, let's check out a little bit of it now, though. <laughs> Our Lebanese blackened death buds over here. You know, last album uh, they released, they got a lot of attention. Uh, things went really well for them. They won Global Metal Award, all this kind of stuff. And uh, they're back. And boy, this record, another quality release. Uh, you still got Wallet doing vocals. He still sounds like he was recently or should be committed, just absolutely insane. We've got a couple of hired guns again. Uh, new on drums this time is Adrian Erlandson from At the Gates. Just nailing the performance, just really, really ripping her the whole time. And hey, Linus is back on bass. My favorite bass player in metal. Always, always delivering the best performance. And boy, Anthony, hey, dude can still write a riff. Really enjoyable stuff on here. But despite the fact that it's, you know, some higher guns, it all works together so well. Sounds like a band that's been playing together for years. Uh, definitely check this out, you know support our buds. I had a really hard time picking the records for this month because actually, unlike December where I had a hard time finding those great ones that are great, uh -uh, this month there was just so many good ones. But when I heard this first song, I was like, I don't even need to hear the rest of the album. I'm definitely putting this on here, although I need to hear the rest of this album because this is sick. Uh, this is Reaper with Unholy Nordic Noise coming out on Iron Bonehead Productions January 31st. <laughs> Here we've got some blackened Swede speed uh, with a great cover, limited color use, cool imagery, getting you ready. Uh, rarely do I read a press release and go, damn, that's a really good uh, point in the press release that's 100% accurate. But this press release, man, it has one. Boy, can these guys name an album. Their demo was called A Ravenous Storm of Piss, and then this is called Unholy Nordic Noise, and Unholy Nordic Noise is exactly what you're getting on here. It's so fast, it's so fun, uh, if you're bored of the days of black metal being all about incomprehensible words and sad photos and forests, and you just want to get out there and party, this is the record for you. Throwback to the first wave of black metal. It's super awesome. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this record is that it came out in the winter. I want to be out in the streets in the summer, drunk, kicking over a trash can while listening to it. Don't kick over trash cans, um, unless you're listening to this record, and then it's not your fault. And that comes the palate cleanse, very important palate cleanse this month. I know everything had a similar streak to it, but hey, sometimes a bunch of great black death, death, black, black speed, death, death, that mess gets released, and it's too awesome to say no to. But we've got some sweet heavy metal here. This is Haunt with Mind Freeze on Shadow Kingdom Records coming out January 10th. It's So 
from this, we got some heavy metal coming out of California with an album cover looking like a 30-year-old t-shirt. That's the way to do it. Um, this band kind of reminds me of Chicago's High Spirits, if you kind of gave them an injection of more heavy metal than hard rock. Uh, you've got a really cool record. There's a lot of tempo changes. There's a lot of like slower, faster, they kind of do it all. And unlike uh, a lot of heavy metal records, when they slow down, I'm not like, boo, go back to the fast song. They can slow it down and still make a good song, which is a real testament to what these guys are doing. Um, it's a great record, super fun. Uh, and hey, they're synths, but they made them sci-fi synths. Synths. If you're gonna do them, make them sci-fi. Hey, trademark, that's, a, that's, that's my new catchphrase. No, um, but hey, that's been Metal Monthly. We did it, we did it. New year, got a whole slew of releases coming out. I'm excited to celebrate them. This is the one year, birthday, anniversary, whatever, of Metal Monthly. We've been doing it a year. So exciting, sharing these records with you. And he, here's to a year of sharing another more. The wind.